What's going on YouTube? Got another video for you here. All right, so let me sit down here. All right, so this is the Mackie Pro FX 16. All right, I got the 16 channel mixer. All right, I usually do a 12 because uh, I doubt it if I'll ever use the 16, much less 12. I mean, mostly, most guys only use about four or five channels out of their mixing board anyway, but you never know. So um, it's good to have extra, I guess. But uh, my main reason for getting the 16 so it can fit in my rack, all right? So it can fit in my rack because I have the mixer console section up top of my rack. And uh, the 12 would be too small, it wouldn't fit. So I got the 16. So that was my main reason for getting the 16. All right, I don't need those channels, but um, I said, why not? And it's a lot more expensive also. So uh, I didn't want to do that, but uh, I didn't want it to look stupid with a 12 in there. And then I have to use rack mount adapters to make it look like something, right? So I went ahead and I got the 16 just for the hell of it, all right? Because my other Mackie, there's something wrong with it where it was uh, giving out a, a static, a buzzing static noise that drove me crazy. I couldn't stand it anymore. So I sold it. All right, and I wasn't trying to fix it. It was a little bit too old to be trying to spend a lot of money fixing it. And I didn't know what was wrong with it to even say what it can be, but uh, I think it was some sort of grounding issue. I'm not sure. Because it would be okay for the first 15 minutes, then the buzzer comes in. But anyway, that's out with the old, in with the new, all right? So let me let you see. What it looks like with this thing off. Alright. Alright, I'm sitting down because you can't see me if um if I stand up with the camera being on a stand. But yeah, this box is nice. And uh Mackie is pretty much self-explanatory. I mean these are very good. This is not a digital mixer. I really don't care for the digital mixers at the moment. But here you have it. Don't you see that side? All right, hope you can see that. All right. Don't you see what the back looks like? All right. This also comes with the mixing software, which is cool. I don't have to buy anything extra. All right, so let me see. Here's the right place to open this. I think it's right here. I like to save my boxes, make them look as good as possible. Because you never know when I want to turn around and sell it. All right, anyone who's watched my videos long enough know that I sell a lot of my equipment. All right, so I'm pretty much just going to show you what it looks like because y'all ain't subscribing to my channel anyway. If you just watched my Wasi uh, video, I explain about subscribing or whatever the case may be. So y'all might think that I'm. YouTubers making some, some do, but us, uh, us low subscriber uh, YouTubers, we don't make any money from this. All right, it's like it's like pennies. All right, I mean it's like gas money. All right, every few months you get a gas money check. All right, so none of these YouTube videos or whatever or this whole channel has bought me anything, okay? I haven't even, never bought a, 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 a XLR cable from a damn YouTube check, all right? Because it's trash, all right? I don't really get anything. So everything is out of my hard working pockets. 
Or if I sell a piece of equipment, I'll buy another one, which is what I did with these uh, these purchases here. I sold my uh, Behringer NU-12000, I had two of them. I sold uh, the Behringer Euro Pro 4000 and I sold my CVR-3002, uh, okay? So that's what helped with these purchases. So it's not YouTube, all right? It's not what from you guys. Oh, forget about that. Yeah, you guys don't like anything. I'll have like 20,000 views and I'll have five likes, right? That's how you guys treat me. And somebody make a stupid video showing nothing and they get 50,000 views and 100 likes, right? But I show y'all some of the most expensive equipment and most popular gear and I get three likes, right? So from now on, when I make videos, I could care less whether y'all like, subscribe, share, or not, because y'all ain't putting no money in my pocket. You know what I mean? I've been doing this since 2005, like I said on the last video, and I just do it to help out that one or two guys, you know what I mean? A few people that are desperately trying to build a sound system and have nowhere or no idea what to get or how to start it. So that's the main reason why I do these videos, to help out the young guy who's trying. Because when I first started, I, I didn't know anything to buy, so I bought all the wrong stuff and I kept on spending buying the wrong stuff, right? Until I can get what I want. But um, I give you affordable stuff that you can get that will last, right? Versus going out there and buying a bunch of cheap gear that only lasts you a few months. And the faders go out. I remember my first, my first mixer like this that I bought. It was a Behringer. And um, like I said, I, I'm glad I had warranty on it because I returned it or whatever the case may be. We're not going to talk bad about Behringer. Behringer will get you through, okay, to start making your money. So that's what Behringer is good for. It gets you out there. But you know what I mean? As far as lasting... But ever, ever, like a Mackie, uh, it might not get you that far, I'm not sure, but I don't want to bash any companies, because Behringer has done me good also, alright? Trying to get this out of the way. Alright, so you can see this. Alright, so, this is a very nice mix. I think this is the best one I've ever gotten. Okay. And everything is solid. Nothing is rocking. Nothing is moving. You know, the knobs are all solid. You know, nothing is shaking. Nothing is wiggling. Like some of those cheap, uh, cheaper mixes where everything is wiggling and shaking. These are all strong. Alright, so these are not flat like the old ones. These has a little raised. They're like raised little slider faders here okay so you can put your whole finger underneath it pretty much but yeah everything is smooth nothing is sticking like some of the cheap stuff you know you get halfway and it's like a click or or staggering or hard to move these are all smoothless you know seamless movements you know perfect everything is nice and neat all right and the color on this thing is nice all right, I like this. All right, so I'm not gonna explain this one too much because everyone knows what a Mackie board is. Okay, as they say, they're built like a tank. I'm gonna let you see the back. All right, you have your plug, you have your USB, you have your power on and off. All right, you have your XLR main, main outs and you have your uh, quarter inch main outs. All right. And this also has the effects on it. So this is the effects section here. All right, where well you can send effects to whatever channel you want. Oh yeah, this also has a compressor. All right, so you have your compressor section here where you can do up to eight channels of compression, right? 
So if you don't know what a compressor is, a compressor is pretty much, pretty much if you give someone that's drunk a mic, what's the first thing they want to do when they grab that mic from you? When you give them that mic, what's the first thing they want to do? They want to yell and scream into it, right? They want to give shout outs and they want to make sure the whole world hears them, right? So what you do with those drunk folks is when you hand them that mic, you turn your compression at least three quarter ways, all right? You turn your, you turn your compression about three quarter ways right there. And you set your level at unity right here, right? And you make sure your, um, you make sure your highs are halfway or whatever, your bass is halfway and not too much, right? Turn the mids down a little tiny bit, turn your highs down a little bit. And turn your bass down a little bit, okay? I'm trying to help you all out, save some speakers, all right? Because you don't give a drunk person a microphone in, in a party and think they're going to speak normally, right? They're going to scream into your mic. And nine times out of ten, it's going to send your, your top speakers into clip mode. Because they're going to drive it past what you had it going at. Okay, so they're going to send your, your whole system into shock. So the nice thing about this board, it has the compressor. And what compressor does is not like a limiter. A limiter stops it. You can set a limiter at a certain level and it will stop. It's like a, it's like a brick wall. So you go, ah, and it, it stops it. But a compressor, you can scream all you want and it's not going to go past anymore. It's going to squash everything. Okay? So pretty much a compressor is going to do this. It's just going to squeeze it all. Okay? All right. A limiter will just stop it from going any higher. But they can still scream. But a compressor will just compress it. All right? Like a mash and mashed potato. It's just going to squeeze it out. So they won't be able to blow your speakers or clip your amplifiers. All right? So that's the nice feature about these uh, mixes that they've added. This is definitely a plus, all right? With this feature alone, it's worth the money. Okay? Um, everything else is all right, but this feature right here, even though you can get a separate compressor limiter gate, I had one, but I, I don't have it anymore. I sold that. But being that everything is all in one now, I have my effects, so I don't need a separate effects unit. I don't need a separate compressor unit. All right, I have my USB, I can record or do whatever the case may be. Um, so I'm all set with this, all right? So I'm not gonna talk too long because you guys are not subscribing, so you don't need me to tell y'all a bunch of stuff, all right? Because y'all know it all already. So um, I'm just pretty basically doing these videos for myself now, just for later use, you know, document my journey. If you like, you like, if you don't, you don't. If you subscribe, you subscribe. If you don't, you don't. Peace out. Catch you on the next one, all right? I got a real surprise for y'all. My next unboxing, all right? I'm going to show y'all something brand new. Peace.